Good afternoon, comic collectors. As you can see, I made another trip to Ollie's. I went to one a little bit further away to see if they had anything, because the one closest to me has been uh, out of comics for a while. So, made a little trip, picked up some comic packs. Again, these are the three variations of sellers, comic resellers that they have there. Um, you got the five comic books package and these are $4.99 um, a piece and that was you know as you can already see those are the same um, Power Rangers we'll get to that in a minute uh, this one is $5.99 for five comics these are a little bit newer than these and then of course we got our IDW 10 pack for $7.99 so 80 cents each for these IDWs so let's jump in and see what we have. So what we knew we were getting was this Dungeons and Dragons at the Spine of the World number two. We have a Transformers Galaxy number three cover A. Transformers Beast War number four cover A. TMNT 114 cover A. All right, uh, Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons uh, 3 cover A. And if you remember the cartoon from the 80s, we got the Dungeon Master right there on the cover. All right, so what else do we got? On the back was the Star Trek Voyager 7's Reckoning number 1 cover A. TMNT uh, number 96 cover A. And then Star Trek 5 year number 18, TMNT 123, cover A, and then a G.I. Joe cover B. Alright, so I'm excited for that Dungeons and Dragons Rick and Morty because as you guys who have seen my other videos know that I'm a Dungeons and Dragons fan from way back. So this one's interesting. Um, I grabbed it specifically because of this. I have no idea if it's worth anything. I just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, it says, Claus and the Life and Times of Joe Christmas. And it's a sideways cover. I'll get that in there so you guys can see. And it's issue number one. Just give you guys a sneak peek. It's uh, all the way through. All right, um, Dark Horse, May, number four. Boom, Basilisk. It says chapter seven up there. Oh, you might have seen my cat running by. He's bumping things. She's bumping things. Um, Archaea, The Killer, Affairs of State, number one. And then uh, Black Panther, Agents of Wakanda, number three. So a lot of stuff I'm not familiar with. But we'll figure it out. Alright, and then uh, these comic packs. Five comics for five dollars basically and I grabbed this one because this is um, Shadowhawk number three uh, volume well it's Shadowhawk three I think it's volume two or volume three um, but it's the red foil which I believe is not the primary cover so we'll verify that once I get them bagged and boarded and entered into the database. Alright, Star Trek, um, DC from the 85, number 18. Uh, Thunderbolts, number 51. Not sure what volume that is. Volume 1. 
Marble Fanfare number eight. And then the Power Rangers number three. Like I said, we knew we got a duplicate there. But I wanted that Shadowhawk and you can kind of peek in these as you're looking at them. And that was why I grabbed this pack was this Marvel Fanfare 11. I cheated it a little bit and looked ahead. I was pretty sure that was one of the few that are worth uh, more than cover price. So I got that Marvel Fanfare number one. We got another Star Trek DC series uh, issue 45. We got Unity uh, number zero initially free. Then we got a DC Sword and Sorcery featuring Amethyst. And then we got that Power Rangers uh, number three. So just quick and easy four uh, packs of comics. So 15, 25 comics to go through. I'll get them into the database and come back with an update. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I got everything bagged and boarded, entered into my database, and as I mentioned in the first part, uh, the Shadow Hawk, this is the first issue of Volume 3, and it's going for right around $10. Um, this one was uh, the red foil cover, that's why, um, and it is in really great shape for coming out of a comic pack there's no telling how many people have manhandled that there are some uh, color breaks on the spine uh, but what are you going to do for a comic from you know 1993 so happy with that one and i mentioned the marvel fanfare issue 11 it's uh right around 15 and it's the first appearance of iron maiden melina bostokovna so, another really good looking cover. Um, I mean, the corners are great. The spine is great. Um, I mean, you can just look at that and say, that's a beautiful cover. So, for a buck, well worth it. Another Marvel fanfare, as is the case with most Marvel fanfare, not really worth anything. Now, the other one that was um, kind of you know get my maybe get my money back was this cloth and that's because it's eight dollars and that's actually the cover price on it was 7.99 so it hasn't gone up but buying it for a buck or a buck and a quarter whatever that one was um, is a pretty good deal the rest of these are cover price or you know three four dollars so nothing spectacular there that's it for this episode thanks for watching and probably get over there and go hunting for more later. Good comic hunting and have a good night.